Hello there and a very good evening. Torrential rain pounded Japan's southwestern major island of Kyushu on Monday, hitting 14 inches in 24 hours in one area and triggering landslides and highway closures with more than 800,000 people urged to evacuate. According to public broadcaster NHK, a woman in Kagoshima Prefecture, southern Kyushu, was killed by a landslide. Evacuation advisories were issued for 388,000 households in Kagoshima and three other prefectures. Meanwhile, a report from the Japan Meteorological Agency said part of Satsuma Sendai City saw 14 inches of rain over 24 hours from Sunday afternoon, exceeding the average monthly rainfall of 291.5 mm for July. A bus packed with passengers fell into a gorge in Indian Kashmir on Monday, killing at least 33 people. According to a government official, Angres Singh Rana, at least 22 people were injured when the bus overloaded with passengers skidded off a winding road in Kiswar district. Jammu and Kashmir Governor Satya Paul Malik said many of the drivers were untrained and he had ordered state officials to cancel their licenses as most of the accidents took place due to careless and untrained drivers who drive without any regard for rules and regulations. An unidentified flying object that may have been a missile crashed north of the Cypriot capital Nicosia early on Monday, but no one was hurt on the ground. According to a statement on Twitter by Kudret Ozesim, Foreign Minister of Northern Cyprus, a study on the debris has been conducted by the officials at the crash site in the Tashkent area. He, who was not immediately clear what caused the crash, said initial findings indicate the object that caused the explosion was either an aircraft carrying explosives or a direct explosive, which is missile. He further said the cause of the crash will come to light only from the results of writings and signs on the debris. A small twin-engine passenger plane crashed in Texas in the United States on Sunday, killing 10 people. A spokeswoman for the town of Addison reported that the Dallas County Medical Examiner confirmed 10 fatalities and no survivors. The plane, according to Vice Chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB Bruce Landsberg, was heading for St. Petersburg, Florida and was carrying two flight crews and eight passengers. There were few details on what caused the crash. However, the NTSB investigator in charge of the accident, Jennifer Rohde, said the plane hit a private hangar at the airport when it lost an engine on takeoff. And that ends the English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.